When using access control list or ACL, it is always important to understand the flow of traffic that you are trying to control. It is important to understand if the traffic is originating from a trusted network and going to an untrusted network or vice versa. One of the challenge that you face using ACL is that they do not maintain state information. One of the tools that can be used to help determine if the traffic is originating ex externally or if it's return traffic that was originate, originated internally is the establishment bit. The established option look to see if the bit is set and thereby is an indicator of where the traffic originated. Choosing the established keyword in an ACL will call the inspection of the ACK and the reset bit, which will indicate that the packet belong to an established TCP connection. This means that the TCP connection has completed the TCP three-way handshake, SYNC, SYNCEC, and ACK. And when looking at packets coming into a trusted network means that the connection was initiated from the inside to the outside. If we look at the example access list, access list 102 permit TCP any any established interface ethernet 0 slash 0 and IP access group 102N in this case, the Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface would represent the outside or untrusted network. And when the, this ACL is applied to that interface, it will only allow packet with the acknowledge or reset bit set to pass. Any packet that are initiated from the outside network would be denied due to, due, due to the fact that they will only have the sync bit set and therefore have not completed the three-way handshake. Using the established keyword can be one of the tools used to enhance the security posture of a perimeter router. But since a router is inherently stateless device, it doesn't replace the need to have stateful firewall, firewall that path in the path as well. The principle of defense in depth, which state the need for multiple points of inspection on different platform as traffic goes in and out of the network should always be kept in mind. No single device can fulfill a all the need of comprehensive security solution. Another example of how the above ACL would function is to take close look at an FTP connection. FTP used to a uh, separate port, TCP port 20 for FTP data and TCP port 21 for control traffic. If we consider that a client workstation on a trusted network initiate an FTP connection to an FTP server on the external untrusted network. The initiator packet from the client or the server will set the sync flank in and present the client's initial sequence number. The FTP server then respond with a packet that both the sync bit and the ECK bit set. The server will present its initial sequence number and acknowledge the client's initial sequence number. The client then complete the TCP three-way handshake with an ACK acknowledging the server's initial sequence number. In this case, the packet from the server that are associated with this connection to have ACK bit set and will be allowed by the established configuration in the ACL. And Important issue to consider when discussing FTP is that it can run in two modes, FTP passive mode and FTP active mode. In FTP active mode, the client connection from a random port to the FTP server on a TCP port 21. The FTP server will specify the client random port through the FTP control channel. The passive mode data channel is then opened with the client connect connecting to the server on a specified random port. In this case, both the control and data packets coming back from the server to the client have the ACK bit set. However, FTP standard mode will cause an issue with the data channel. The client will specify the random port to the server through the FTP control channel. The TCP three-way handshake then begin a TCP sync set sent from FTP server to the client from the source on TCP port 20. This packet doesn't have the ACK bit set and therefore will not match the established configuration of the ACL. This case illustrates the need for a firewall which will track 
the state of a connection and, al and allow both FTP standard mode and passive mode to work. Using the established configuration on a perimeter router can easily solve some of the issue with reconnaissance, such as someone trying to use ping or trace route to discover the topology of your network. Any ping or trace route traffic would be denied by the perimeter router, thereby preventing a potential leak of information about the network infrastructure. Thank you.